Hmm. Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a quarry and uh, edit it and whatnot uh, on a basic level uh, for access databases. And this is really, really easy when you figure it out. And uh, I'll let you guys play with it as much as you want. You can't really break it. Well, I shouldn't say that because you can. But, um, you know, just save a copy of it <laughs> and then you can't break it. So, and always remember the Control Z button or key combo and that is your friend that is an undo combination uh, and also this little back arrow up here so remember that in your quick access toolbar that's what this is called up here so uh, remember that could be on a test one day and um, hint hint so anyways let's get started first thing we're gonna do is go to our create tab <clears throat> and uh, let's see and go to um, quarry wizard and we're going to click that and then uh, we're going to simple quarry wizard now we can you know we can do a quarry wizard across tabs and whatnot find duplicates and all that uh, but we don't want to do that we just want to generate our own and obviously you know what these do these this one searches across tabs this one finds duplicates and this one finds shit that is not matched up correctly so uh, we just want to uh, search for stuff so we want to generate a quarry and we can choose which table but we only have one so far so we'll be moving on to more tables in the next one uh, or in another video so let's go ahead and uh, leave it at our table and uh, we want to search for a customer name we want to know their zip code and their phone number so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click next and uh, then we'll click finish and then uh, we can view the quarry by double clicking it uh, and actually, sorry, I forgot, it's already in here. So uh, so it just generated us a nice tab, and what we do is we right-click this, and we click Save, and then uh, then it automatically saves it as my first quarry, or my first table quarry. Now, you can rename this, of course, if you want, by right-clicking this and just clicking uh, Rename, which I don't know where the option is. There it is. Okay, so you have to right-click it on the left side, but then you just click Rename, and uh, you can go ahead and name it anything you want and uh, it will make you close first so let's go ahead and close it first and then right click it then rename it and we're gonna name it um, let's see we'll just rename it to my first quarry so that's what it's gonna be called and we're gonna open that up and look at it and as you can see it has the uh, customer name zip code phone number so uh, now um, yeah, now we're going to be generating a form, so I guess uh, I will see you guys, or not not a form, sorry, we're going to be generating a report. So, uh, see you guys in my next tutorial on that. Hope you enjoyed this one, and hope to see you there.